Hi guys, I'm going to try and keep this video short and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, a quick video on the use of the stat function in the Casio calculator to use some statistics that we do at uh, generally National 5 and it's looking at standard deviation, it's looking at the, the mean and just the sample number. So I'm going to try and keep it as short as I possibly can and I'm going to do it based on this question that's here. So you can freeze the video and look at the question. I've got four data points and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find the mean and the standard deviation using the calculator. Right. You can replay the video whenever you want, but uh, I'm just going to go reasonably quickly through this. So I'm going to turn my calculator on, on button, okay? Calculator's on. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to select the mode button, mode, and I've got a couple of options there, but I'm going to choose two stats, so the two button I'm going to press, okay? That gives me a couple of options that are there. So I'm only going to use the one, the one button, that's the one variable up there. So I'm pressing button number one on the calculator. That's selected uh, and uh, give me a table. So on this table, I'm going to put in the values that I've got here. So 30, 41, 48. So here we go. So I'm putting in 30. I'm pressing equals. Uh, the next one's 41. Pressing equals. I'm pressing 48 equals button. And then I'm pressing 29 and then the equals button. So that's me got the four values that are in the calculator just now. Right, I'm going to press the AC button, okay, so the AC button over here, and what that will do is that will cancel me out of that, but you can see that the stat function's up there, and it's saved that wee table. Right, I want to now use the, the, the uh, stats function to uh, interrogate that data I've put in. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the shift button, so press shift, and then I'm going to press the, uh, the button number one, where it says the gold stat down there, okay. So number one. So on my calculator, I've got these options that are here. So the option that we're going to use is option four. We could use the others as well, but we're just going to use option four at the moment. And what that does is that gives me um, a list of things to try there. So the one that we're not going to use is number three, okay? We're just going to use the N for, for how many uh, points we put in, which were four. We've got two, which is the X bar, which is the, uh, the mean. And we've got SX as it is in there. And that's going to be the standard deviation that we're going to use at National 5, right? So here we go then. So let's use the function. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press my button number one to correspond with N. So button number one, pressed, bump. Okay, what I get is an N up on the screen. I'm going to press equals. And that tells me there that I've got four points that are entered. So I can always check that I've entered the right amount of points, okay? I'm going to press the AC button to come out of that, okay? AC button, and I'm back to here. I'm then going to go for the same routine again. So I'm pressing shift, and I'm pressing the one stat button again, okay? I'm going to press four again to go back into that. And then I'm going to press button number two. So I'm pressing two on my calculator, two. Okay, so that brings up X bar. So if I press equals, that gives me the value of the uh, mean straight away. Okay, so just to keep it short, you can rerun this video to see this again. Okay, so um, I'm going to AC button it again. I'm going to cancel out. There may be a quicker way to do that. I don't know that at this moment in time. And I'm going to go and select the stats function again. So shift and then number one brings me back into stat. I'm going to be using the button number four. That's the one we're always, always using from that menu. And then I'm using number four from the, uh, the menu that's here. So if I press button number four, up on the uh, calculator comes SX. If I press equals, that works out my standard deviation for me. Okay, so that's a simple way of going through. It gives you a table of uh, values that you just enter into, into that uh, table. You then cancel out it by the AC button, use the stat function to check some of your work. Remember, you need to check your work with this. You can't do that in the, at National 5. You must show how you've actually arrived at your answers. Right. So to finish off, I'm just going to press the AC button to cancel out. And to get rid of that stat function that's there, I'm going to press my mode button and then the comp button, so number one. That's me back at the start, so I can then go ahead and do some further calculations. Calculator off, right? So so basically, that's how we would go ahead and work out standard deviation, uh, the mean, and also the sample number. There's also other functions there that you could play about with, but that's all I'm doing for today. Cheers for now. Hope this has been of value.